Okay. This will be an interesting one. We're going to run this in an interesting fashion. We're trying to conserve yellow toner, but we're going to still be on, we're still going to be on full color, but we're going to remove the color from this image. So we're going to leave it on 100, of course. So we're going to go here going to start we're going to take out no we're not going to add color we're going to take it out all of the colors we're going to make this a black and white a color image in black and white but basically I'm missing a loved one folks and I'm trying to get my work here on television which has really proven to be a challenge very difficult to make happen especially when there are a lot of big ticket news items anyway what do we got we'll just start over here it is a monster monster energy drink mule I actually didn't drink this because I'm on a diet but basically I emptied it into the sink cleaned it out and it's dry and it's going to be used in this demo sounds wasteful I know but I can't drink I can't deviate from my diet and energy drinks are not healthy anyway um, so we're going to roll it Don't know how that turned out. Monster Mule. I don't know why they call it Mule. They got all sorts of novel names for energy drinks like Red Bull, which goes Red Bull gives you wings, which is really stupid. Anyway, we did a fuck up. That's a fuck up. But you can see the black and white. There's no longer any color in it. Uh, but it's not what we're after. I really miss my partner Luigi. And I'm just trying to get my stuff to go to air. So I'm trying to find Luigi. I think I rolled that too far too soon. I really miss Luigi. And it really hurts to be alone. And Christmas is coming up and now this is not by any means perfect but it looks like we could use this um, but basically I really miss my partner I really miss him sadly and it's really painful I'm gonna switch it to black and white now uh, gonna have to gonna make this into something different already we've made it into something different <laughs> but it really hurts to be alone it really hurts to to not have a companion to to be with and it is it's fucking hard it's really awful you know it's christmas for crying out loud and your fucking loved one isn't around and it's like fuck that you know it's like fuck that honestly it is a huge fuck being out of touch with your loved one, being away from someone that you care about. You know, it's really damn hard trying to find this person. And I'm really lonely, folks. I don't know how people can justify a life of singledom, how people can just take singledom and eat it raw because singledom is only able to be eaten raw it's not something that you treat like a, a gourmet dish it's a fucking pain it's a fucking it's only good if it to avoid the worst of worst and that is keeping bad company uh, or marrying bad company and I had lots of bad company in my time
and now I just want quality. I want to find where Luigi's got to. And that's proven more difficult than it seems. So I'm trying to get this shit of mine on television in the hope that I'm going to locate where Luigi is. Now that looks interesting, but it's not quite what I want. It's a difficult world I live in, being without this person, Luigi. It's really not an easy thing to to deal with the partner the loss of a partner due to foolish decisions when you when I was young so I'm not happy with what I've got I've always had a, a sense of ill content with things that I have and what longing for things that I don't have and that I want that other people seem to have now I, am, I know that I should have had something, now I've fucked it up, gone the wrong direction. But basically, I'm trying to find where Luigi is. I know that if I find Luigi, I won't feel this anger and frustration with what I've got and what I don't have. I won't feel a sense of uh, crankiness and a sense of being stir-crazy. And it is, it's, a, it's like being stir crazy. You just feel it's like a prison, being alone. I've never liked loneliness. Uh, I'm not a very good person when it comes to dealing with it. But I've had to learn that I have to use the time I've got in this loneliness. Um, I have to try and make use of the of the downtime and I'm learning how to make use of downtime folks I'm trying my best to do that now I just hit that button twice it's so annoying when I do that you can't blame that on Konica Minolta but it's really lonely without Luigi. It really is. It's really a difficult way of living. Now I've done this wrong again. I've pushed it. Oh fuck it. Uh, wondering if it's going to be which one is the better one. Um, I'm going to make this one for some reason. My intuition's going with this, even though I've cut that one off. So. But basically, it's, it is a lonely kind of existence. What I'm doing, trying to make something of my time, however, however much it's difficult. I really find it lonely, but what can I do, folks? So I go on. So I'm going to go to air on television. So that was our, our last one. So we're going to go to air on television and try our best to make this into something uh, good. This is a bit crooked. Um, I'm going to try and straighten it up a bit. But basically, it's difficult trying to make something of your life when you've totally ruined your life through foolish behaviours, foolish ideas that never came to be a problem but they just looked really bad and I'm really over this life as I know it. Don't know how this is going to look. But it's really difficult trying to find a way out of the labyrinth that you made yourself through stupidity and dumbass thoughts and concepts that were really not real. Now that looks good. So, you know, I'm trying my best. 
I am. I'm trying my best to do what I what I know is right. And I just fucked this up. It's just lifted up. It just flew up when I lifted the dock feeder. So that I had it in the right place. And now it's fuck. But basically I'm so bored of this life that I've got that I can't seem to get rid of this fuck up. This fuck up consumes me. All these fucking ideas I had when I was fucking at, at my prime age, 19 and 20 in particular. Although the foolishness did begin in, in 1989. No, not 1989. The main part of the foolish the foolishness began in uh, two. 1991 when I started getting these foolish fuck up thoughts and they started to they sort of percolated they sort of took time to really become as foolish as they were and then 1980 1992 was when I acted on them and then 1993 I acted on them further so I am really angry at myself that I ripped myself off and I am now paying the fucking price decades later I'm really angry at myself folks I just want to tear strips off I know people there are other people involved people from school people from my youth group who made me feel bad about myself but they weren't the ones that actually acted on what I did, I was the one. They just became the triggers, or partly the triggers. But they didn't care about me, and Luigi did. But these people didn't care about me. Some of them did, don't get me wrong, but I had a feeling that I just didn't belong in the group. I didn't have any fucking place. I was treated in, as an inferiority, so now I live to pay the price for, for the foolishness that I believed because they sort of started it. They made it worse. Uh, they couldn't advise me against it. So I had to live with what I did. wondering where the centre of this job is going to be going to make it down there but yeah it was really difficult dealing with this trouble I'm wondering if I should slide it across or should I not but I really am angry at myself for what I did going to pull it up I'm thinking on the vertical we're going to enlarge it a bit further so we're going to make it 200 and going at 207 but basically I did the wrong thing now why didn't that button work sorry but basically, yeah, I just fucked up when I was young and I had all had loads of potential folks. Um, and Luigi, incidentally, tried to stop me from taking on these silly, foolish, truly foolish thoughts. But unfortunately, he couldn't rescue me because I was too far gone. I was, I was too far gone. I was rooted totally screwed up I really r wish I didn't go with the with the flow of the people now I'm wondering if I need to do this better uh, I think that's going to be the center this is a long demo folks I'm wondering if we're going to continue with it but it's really sad that I didn't stand up for myself and I didn't the problem was I wasn't being myself I wasn't allowing myself the the human 
the free privilege of being myself, the freedom that that would have entailed if I had have just grabbed it. I just needed to grab. I, you know, even though it felt wrong at the time, all I had to do simply was to grab it. Right or wrong, I should have just grabbed it. Grabbed it with both hands and claimed it as my own. Instead of being someone else that I'm not and trying to be normal, to be an average person, thinking that I had to grow up before I could be myself. So I'm really angry. I ripped myself off from not being myself. So you got to learn to be yourself, folks. That's the lesson you got to take away from here, is to be yourself, not be anyone else. Not your mum, not your dad, not your brother or your sister, not your friends, not your spouse or your loved ones. you got to be you, you, you. Not the characters on television, not the celebrities. Don't be anything but your fucking self, folks. That's the lesson that you have to take away with, with you. You got to take it away, and you got to grab onto it. It's you. You got to be you, not fucking someone else. You weren't made to be someone else. You're made to be your fucking self. Sorry about the language, but I'm telling you, I'm angry at myself. I didn't learn this lesson earlier. So. Just try and line that up. Yeah, that looks good. I think now we can call this prolongated demo quits.